Welcome everyone to HFN where we trade different the trusted source of news according to the price chart. Today is December the 19th, 2019. Appreciate you all coming and watching our video. If you guys see the video and you appreciate the content and you see how easy it is to forecast price movement, join us. Plain and simple. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, follow us on our website, hughfinancial.com as well, in order to get more of our price forecasts the simplistic way. We're going to talk about Bitcoin today and how Mark Cuban has one problem with Bitcoin. Last time we did our video in Bitcoin was on the 16th of December, and we're going to talk about how the market actually traded versus our original forecast and some of the reasons as to why stop losses would allow you to miss out on profitable opportunities. OK, so first. We're going to look at the article, talk about it, and then we're going to update you on how the market price action fared against our original forecast. And then lastly, we're going to give you our updated price movement in Bitcoin going forward. All right. So now billionaire Mark Cuban has one serious, not minor, major problem with Bitcoin. According to now, this is an article written by Forbes. OK, billionaire Mark Cuban is this is what he's saying about Bitcoin. And some of the points I think we all can agree. Bitcoin is difficult to use. It's easy to hack. I don't agree with that. Way easy to lose. I don't agree with that. Too hard to understand. I can understand that somewhat. And it's too hard to assess a value. I don't agree with that because what you see on price chart is precisely what someone is willing to buy and sell Bitcoin for. So that's relatively easy, Mark, to understand how to assess the value of Bitcoin. He also warned that despite all those things, despite everything that this man has said about Bitcoin, he said that it can still succeed if two small letters, one major word, if it could only overcome one serious hurdle and that is getting people to actually use bitcoin hey mark that goes for the rest of the cryptocurrency space that is something that every cryptocurrency created to date has to overcome is usage if the world does not pick up on cryptocurrency it will be pointless i agree with him hold heartily on that we can have small niches of communities that utilizes each different altcoin but if it doesn't grow if those communities doesn't grow into masses of nations then the value of these cryptocurrencies will be minimal at best he quote this is what he said and i quote you don't have to convince me. This is what he wrote on Twitter. You need to convince your neighbors. See, it needs to you need to convince your family, your friends, your neighbors, your city, your state, your government, your nation. All those things have to come on board in order to validate the value, the massive value that many people are trying to place on Bitcoin. It has to grow from those perspectives. OK, we can't have a small niche of people uh, simply trading Bitcoin and not using it on a day to day basis or even considering it as a store of value. It won't work. I think he really wanted to make a point too that he's not opposed to Bitcoin. He understands the argument. So he even he sees the true value of Bitcoin. The world is littered with great products and services that fell for lack of what consumers people currently the people are not seeing bitcoin as a daily medium value of exchange right i did a video for litecoin yesterday that's the purpose of using litecoin well that's the purpose that is supposed to be used for but even people are not using litecoin in that sense 
we need something and i think this is what he's trying to go through with the difficult to use hard to lose and it's hard to assess the value once we create a utensil a product software hardware whatever the case may be to make the transaction of a cryptocurrency easy then it will pick up mass adoption no doubt about it and that's what we're waiting on in the world to allow the uses of cryptocurrencies to become simple it should become as simple as placing your phone on a gadget and scanning it and it's done and it's over you shouldn't have to worry about keys public keys and private keys you should just scan a phone like many people do today this article also goes on into how the creation of companies having well how companies are creating their own altcoin cryptocurrency can also diminish the assessment of how valuable bitcoin can really be case in point facebook everyone understand that facebook is also creating their own cryptocurrency called libra right what if the world picks up and utilizes libra more than bitcoin what do you think is going to happen what if you think the masses of people rather trade and use libra than bitcoin there's no there's no lock on the door to restrict the competition in altcoin or in cryptocurrencies if facebook is trying to do the same thing of creating their own money who's to say that google can't do it who's to say that amazon can't do it who's to say that microsoft can't do it who's to say that amd can do it who's to say that even target walmart these major retail establishments cannot do it because they will it's the first one it's, it's just simply who's going to be the first company to break down that wall and not only that we have national governments vying for a position in this digital currency space they're trust me they're running at the mill right now trying to create their central digital currencies their central bank digital currencies and many regulators cannot grasp how to regulate cryptocurrencies maybe they don't have to worry about that because the algorithm the framework of blockchain does the regulation for you the percentage of consumers choosing it as a methodically for payment or store value is infinite it's almost free and few want to use it Mark Cuban, which is the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, he started accepting and taking Bitcoin in 2015. And again, it started up again last year with five total transactions because nobody wants to use it for an everyday medium of exchange. Because many people are coming out with articles and videos saying that Bitcoin is going to hit a million dollars. Bitcoin is going to go to three hundred thousand dollars. Bitcoin is going to hit ten million dollars. And everyone's simply holding on to it. They're not trying to spend it like fiat currency. And right now, Cuban, who had a business called Broadcast.com, sold it to Yahoo for $5.7 billion, made headlines when he said he'll rather have bananas than Bitcoin warning potential Bitcoin and cryptocurrency investors that digital tokens have no intrinsic value no intrinsic value so I wonder if he's the one who bought this banana for $120,000 
at Art Basel in Miami Beach. Could be. Because maybe he thinks this has intrinsic value. A banana taped to a wall. I don't know if he's trying to be sarcastic with that statement, but he could have definitely been the one who bought that banana for $120,000. He's talking about that you cannot assess value to Bitcoin early out in this in this article. How can you assess the value of this? A banana taped to a wall. Obviously, somebody valued it for $120,000. So that is a loose argument on that perspective about you cannot assess the value of Bitcoin. Because how much would you be willing to pay for a Bitcoin taped to a wall? Perfect. Exactly. So now that's the end of that article. We're going to look at Bitcoin and how it has traded in our last video which was as i stated earlier on the 16th of december and we opted for the market in bitcoin to continue to see some higher prices let's go ahead and go to the big stamp exchange right 16th is when we did our video and we opted to keep the market ongoing with the expectation that bitcoin is going to continue to move higher in price and what do you know the 18th the market came and hit our ultimate tp area of 2.17 percent now it's, it took a while i'm not going to deny that i'm not going to lie it took us six days in order for the market to hit the top portion of our price target area this is one reason why i state stop losses uh, makes you miss out on your profitability okay now, I didn't expect the market to make such a massive spread yesterday, but it did. So it just goes to show that the forecast that we had in play on the 12th, we saw it happening, but it just took a longer period of time for it to actually play out. And it goes like that sometimes. So there you are, 2.17% done, hit yesterday in the market in Bitcoin. So now what we need to do, OK, need to look at on a weekly time frame. And as we look here on Bitcoin on a weekly time frame, $6,500, second time it has been touched. It touched here on the 25th of November, the week of, and then it touched it again this current week that we're on now. If we close, I'm telling you this now. At the conclusion of this weekly price bar, if Bitcoin closes toward the high of the bar, the expectation in the long term has been reversed and we will be looking for the market to move higher. But we're not there yet. We are still seeing that the market is hugging that $7,500 as resistance. But if we close toward the high on that weekly bar, I'll be the first one to tell you that Bitcoin is vying for higher prices. OK, so as of this particular moment, we are in a consolidational range currently the market is telling us that it wants to try to pursue higher prices but again $7,500 is in its way until we see that market in Bitcoin break above $7,500 we're going to hold this consolidation of range and this overall trend that we've been in is still there the movement to the downside is in control so your focus needs to be on $7,500 and break it above that price daily time frame is that we're doing that right now okay we are down about two percent right now to the market in Bitcoin I'm going to extend this area here all the way down there because that is where the market has opted to hold support 7,000 is support as well too so there's a couple of areas in the market for Bitcoin to hold support all right so this is it all eyes needs to be on this area of consolidation of trading. If we hold 6,800, preferably $7,000 on strength, Bitcoin will continue to see higher prices. And I'm kind of getting that on the four hour chart, but it's not ready yet. It's not definitive to say that Bitcoin is going to continue to move higher, even though I'm seeing it actually play out 
in the market so what I'm going to do I'm going to expect the market in Bitcoin to continue to see some higher prices but maybe at $7,200 okay I'm not seeing it uh, too far from there yet so that's why we're going to have to play this on the hourly time frame okay seven thousand dollars is where our ultimate area support needs to reside in order to allow bitcoin to continue to move higher our tp price is at seventy two hundred dollars which would be about 0.9 percent profit into that i'm just going to extend it higher just to accommodate that we could get another spike movement uh, higher in bitcoin as we continue to see this market trade out okay but understand we need to see the strength continue relatively soon in order to accomplish that movement higher the longer that we just drag it out and just trade sideways the greater it's going to in increase the movement to the downside okay so be on the lookout for that so we're going to play the market in bitcoin moving higher uh 7200 is what we're looking at for tp but it can move a little bit higher than that considering that massive move that have just occurred recently over the last couple of days so there you are updated price movement in bitcoin uh we're playing it on the three hour chart so remember that in our next video when we update you all that we did it on the three hour chart questions comments let us know make sure you always maintain your profitability and as always i'll see you on the next one